Howdy guys, IndiePixel here, and in this next set of videos, it might take a couple videos to explain all this, but what I want to do is I want to explain how functions work inside of VEX. So you can actually declare your own custom functions, that way you can reuse code over and over again. You know, if you've been following the series or if you've looked at a lot of other people's VEX code, you don't really see uh, the functions being used all that often. Now this is a great way to start to reuse code and what we're going to do uh, throughout these next set of videos in this series is we are going to implement um, all the, well not all of the easing functions, but the more popular easing functions like uh, linear and ease in, uh, ease out, and ease in and out. Alright, so we'll get all those basics out of the way, but really the point of this is to show you how we can utilize um, functions inside of X. Okay, so let's dive in so what i'm going to do is create a new uh, geometry node here let me hide the previous one here and i'm just going to call this uh, easing video all right i'm going to dive inside and delete that file node all right so the first thing that i want to do is drop down a wrangle node all right i'm just going to select the attribute wrangle node and then just select the run over detail so we're just going to run this once because this particular node is going to generate all the points so we'll just call this the easing functions like so okay and what I want to do um, inside of here is just kind of get a basic understanding of what we can do with these functions okay so um, let's go and process you know just a very very basic function so when you start working with functions inside of X what we need to do is we need to declare all the functions first all right so um, I'm gonna say uh, functions start here okay and then just close that out so all your functions need to be declared at the beginning of your VEX expression so um, best way to do this is hit alt E on the keyboard to bring up the um, code editor here uh, it just makes it a little easier to edit and so what I want to do is create a very simple function all right so let's let's start with a, a function that doesn't return anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type up void and we'll call this uh, say something you know you see that a lot in, in code all right we'll take in a string so that's an argument so we're going to take in some sort of string and then we're going to print it to the console basically so this string will just be a message like so all right and this is very similar to what we do inside of C sharp and um, C and you know, Python and Mel, I mean, they're all, they all kind of follow the same sort of structure, all right? We have this void statement saying we're not returning anything. We have the name of the function, and then we have our arguments, all right? And then you can have, you know, lots of arguments. You can say int a number or a integer, how about that? And float a float or vector a vector, like so. And you can utilize all of that data that's being passed into this function. All right, so this is a great way to kind of modularize your code. You just reuse your code over and over again. All right, so in this case, all I need to do is then do a print F because in VEX this is how we print the Houdini console. So print F and we'll print that message. And maybe we'll add something to the beginning. We'll say message is, and we'll do the colon there. And we'll do a plus to concatenate it. And there we go. So we have our first function like so all right so what we need to do now is we need a way to actually call this all right so remember we declare our functions first and then what we do is we put all of our actual code that we're going to, going to utilize these functions inside of another block so i like to use these comments to kind of block things out and then i, I usually do something like this i say um, code or something like that custom code there we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to then say, uh, say something like so, and send in a message. So we can just send in a string. We'll say, hello, uh, Houdini, and vex, exclamation mark. And now if I were to hit apply and accept, you can see that in the Houdini console, we get this message is, hello, Houdini, and vex. Boom. All right, so what we're doing is we're actually calling this function. Okay, so hopefully you can start to see how powerful uh, this is. All right, so let's say we want to create a function that adds 
two values together is a, you know another very popular uh, test function when you're learning how to program. All right, so let's create a function that actually returns a value for us. All right, and this value is going to be a float, and we're going to say add numbers. And what we're going to do is we're going to take in two numbers, and they're going to be floats. All right, so we'll say float uh, num a, and then we'll say float uh, num b. Now, uh, inside of vex, uh, side effects has made it so that you can actually declare multiple um, arguments here just by using that comma. So instead of uh, doing it was supposed to be semicolon float num b. All right. But what we can do is we can just put a comma down and say num b, just like that. All right, so that way we don't put the type twice. So now we have two arguments. All right, but if you want to add another type, we'd have to put in a semicolon like so, and then we'll say something like vector my vec, like so. That's how you would add a, another argument there. Okay, but we just want to basically add two floats together. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to say return. Uh, num a plus num b and that will actually add those two numbers together for us so let's try this out so let's do um, add uh, numbers and let's actually store it so we're going to say float uh, sum is equal to add numbers and we'll send in something like two and five all right and let's just see what that is so we'll do a print f and we'll say sum or let's do something like this sum is We'll say plus sum, like so, semicolon. There we go, and we'll hit apply. And you can see that we are getting an error. And that's because we need to actually convert our sum to a string. All right. And now what we can do is instead of doing this concatenation like that, because this is not a string, what we can do is we can actually um, add an argument to this particular string right here by using the percentage g and lowercase g and then comma and then the sum and hit apply and you can see that the sum is now seven so let's clear that let's close this let's actually make this a new line as well like so and hit apply there we go sum is seven perfect so let's try that out so let's do five and five now we get sum is ten on a new line Cool. So that is the basics of using functions inside of VEX. Okay. So I think I'm going to close out this video here. And in the next video, what we're going to do is start implementing all of our easing functions. And then by the end of this little series of videos, we will actually create an HDA that will just allow you to, the, to go and select the different easing functions. Okay. Thanks so much.